hello. Hi. We've been gone for a while. Yeah. As as a collective, I checked. July third was the last one. Yeah, almost a month. And, and uh, now now the, the the folks know that in, in my absence, I'd lost somebody, and in your absence, you gained somebody. They don't know that part. But what I'm asking, and what everyone is asking to know, is did my father, Ric Flair, soul transfer himself... <laughs> into my child. Yep. Did you... Did your girlfriend give birth to my... to my father's soul baby? God, I hope not. <laughs> your father smoked like if, a chimney. If, if, if her first word is a slur, you can bet yourself right that that's my dad in there. Jesus. Well, that's one way to start a power move. I've been working you've on been, that for weeks. You've been holding on that for so for long. For so long. Waiting for us to do a podcast together. I can't tell it tell it to somebody else. It doesn't work. I can't wait till the super best friends ca- just come and say, Hey, you're stolen our bit. Uh, uh, spe- speaking of which, kind of tagging on the back of that, uh, Ric Flair not doing so well. He's in the hospital right now. So. I heard about that, yeah. I was uh, like, oh, that's kind of upsetting. Now, I don't remember what I was listening to, but they, they made the good point of if he does pass, which, I mean, is totally in the realm of possibilities, uh, he would make a fantastic ghost. You see, the problem, if he passes, he doesn't have that uh, same... It's not going to be the same as like when uh, Randy Savage passed, where it was like the 2012... The Mayan calendar was coming to an end. The apocalypse was right around the corner. And then Randy Savage passes. Nothing happens. And you're just sitting there going, Randy Savage fought the horsemen of the apocalypse to save us. Yeah, now, okay, that's a fair point. But if Ric Flair dies and wherever he haunts, everywhere he goes, he can just go, Woo! Most annoying ghost. (laughs) You have. They could make an entire new Casper film spin-offs of just Rick, of Ric Flair the Friendly Ghost. <sighs> People are just opening up their fridges, and it's just woo like the Ghostbuster sequel. Get rid of Slimer, bring in Ric Flair. Jeez. I'm sure he'd appreciate that if he's what, what, li- what, if he what, lives what, to see that movie. What's his special? Does he have a signature move? Like I you know, know Randy Orton has the RK. It's Randy Orton that has the RKO, right? Yes. Or he just. Fucking grabs onto <laughs> someone's head and then just power. Uh, I'm sure he does, but I think at this point, his secret, his special move is soul transfer. Okay. So you've been uh been been up to anything? We're not gonna start with you know this is the Pat welcome no. to the Power Moves podcast. No. I'm Duncan. He's Colin. Uh, welcome to the read the title of the fucking video. Colin, we gotta be professional. No matter where you get this, be it the internet, iTunes, or for some strange reason, playing an MP3 off my computer, it will say the title. You know what you're listening to. This isn't a radio program Not where we, they're just it, flipping it, through the channels. We, we, I wish it was, because then maybe someone would listen. It's showmanship, Colin. When have we ever been about showmanship? Never. If we were about showmanship, we would probably would have pre-recorded episodes and had things ready to go. Actually, research. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, we're we're just not very professional, but we we no. get it done. Well, no, there's a difference between showmanship and professionalism. It's true. If anything, if any one thing I can say about this podcast and the channel as a whole is we are consistently inconsistent. Sometimes we'll have two videos every day. Sometimes we'll just go a week and say, fuck it, and not even post on Twitter why there's no videos being posted. The reason is, we ran out. Yep. Ran out some days ago. And, uh, oops. <laughs> I've been busy watching fucking Pokemon. <laughs> to record more. How many episodes have you gotten through? Uh, I, I finished XYZ. So are, are you uh, on Sun and Moon now? No, I'm not watching Sun and Moon. Okay. So that was... All because that's legitimate, like, I think, like, legitimately, there are some shots that are animated beautifully. No, that, well, that's my problem. Sun and Moon looks good, visually, but 
after watching all of XY, XYZ, and the mega specials. Mega specials. That's two and a half weeks. That's 144 episodes of Pokemon. I'm done for a minute. I want no more Pokemon. I don't think you understand. There's this there's this one shot where this Pokemon trainer is getting just drunk off her gourd. And she's tapping her fingers. No, I, I saw the GIF, and it's like the best. Oh, they put all their budget in the, it's, in the highest quality it's finger It's so tap. smooth and buttery. It looks so good. I love it. How old is she? I don't know, 10? Okay, the internet sure doesn't care. No, of that, course the internet. That was the first time I saw that character. <laughs> the internet is full of Nazis and pedophiles. <laughs> Pedophile Nazis. Pedof- of course, pedophile Nazis. Okay, okay. If if you're a like devout, I, I don't know if you'd call it devout pedophile. You'd be a devout Nazi. Yeah. But uh, a uh, a committed pedophile. Yeah. And a devout Nazi, and you see a Jewish baby spread his cheeks for you. <laughs> what do you do? I'm not touching this. <laughs> I'm not touching this. Because at least I have morals and principles. Really? Yeah, but you're neither a pedophile or a Nazi. No. I mean, yeah, yeah. if you see a baby spread his cheeks, you go, I'm going to ignore that. Their parents are probably around. Yeah. Or that is a very sexually sophisticated baby. No. If at a young age they're already putting their ankles behind their head, you got a freak on your hands. You don't understand, Colin. You have to get in there to get the shit out. Yes. Like, and they just... You know... You remember Mega Babies. Of course you remember Mega Babies. You know when they're sitting there... And then all of a sudden there's a rumbling and they just rock Rocket. it off <laughs> and the diaper is just filled with like lumps. That's what babies are like. They weren't, that, that wasn't, you know, that's actually what a diaper, these abominations do. They just fill it like up to their belly button. Just yep. shit everywhere. Oh, babies are gross. It, it sat... I don't remember where I heard it anymore. It's just something that sat with me for a long time. Uh, that I, It was a guy talking about having a daughter, and he's like, it's really weird, because he's like, you really have to get uh, yeah. everywhere. Yeah. And he's like, it gets a little weird. Yeah. Because... For obvious reasons. Yeah. No. I mean, I I was sitting there going, I think I would have preferred to have a son. Would you cut his dick off? Had no. you had a son? No. Good boy. No. Fight, fight, fight Wait, that. Wait, do you mean like actually cut no, his I dick off? No, I mean circumcision, just... Duncan. I oh. don't mean actually just cut his dick right off. Be like, nah, I'm not feeling that Well, thing. no, I thought you were referring to that news story where the parents cut his dick off. Raised him as a daughter. Oh, like, that's not new. That the... that's from the seventies. Okay, talk about David Reimer. Yeah, that's what I thought you were talking. <laughs> about. No, no, no. Now, granted, I recently told you about that story, but no, that, that. Well, no, you've told me twice. Once on the podcast, and once. Uh... But no, either way, old story. No, I meant circumcision. That's what I. Meant. I was circumcised. Well, oh, oh. my dad was circumcised. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> proud Jews in this house. <laughs> so why not just <laughs> just just keep the lineage going? No, I wouldn't. Good. I mean... You ever see the videos of the, like... Now, this isn't all circumcisions, obviously. This is just a very strict sect uh, of the of Judaism where, um, to, to stop the bleeding, uh, a, ra- um, a rabbi will suck the blood? No. That's not... That doesn't fly with you? No. I, I saw someone the other day arguing... <laughs> That, like, circumcision is a dumb battle to fight. Now, and, and you know what? Honestly, I kind of agree. What, what, why is it? What, what do you mean? Well, there was this giant bus sign. I don't know where it was, and it... I mean... It was super weird to see as a, as a sign on a bus. It's not like it's abortion. 
No. It's not like, yeah, exactly. You're not killing the kid. You're just making, you're giving him a more aesthetically pleasing penis. Uh, but there was this giant bus sign saying, I did not consent. And a bunch of guys who were clearly uncircumcised were like, I, I consent to this. And I guess the argument is for, we should get adult circumcision. So, like, there are each, adults. well, no, there are. There are. But, but, like, make it so every individual can choose and yeah. not just, it's, it's here you just go. when you're a baby, you don't remember the pain of your, like, the skin being peeled from your... I think it does. I think somewhere in the back no. of your mind, I think something can trigger it. No, I don't, I don't think so, because you're not, when they do it, you're not fully aware. You, you're... Like, like, like I, no, I mean, like, deep in there, like, voodoo psychologists level deep. Like, the, there's an episode of Simpsons where Homer saw a dead body when he was 16, and then they trigger it in him, and he just screams for 22 minutes of that entire episode. Is this the new episode? No, this is pretty old. Is this before season 8? Maybe? I watched... Like, it's a pretty old episode. I, I've been watching a lot of <laughs> when... How this like when the Simpsons died videos? Super Eye Patch Wolf, um, a few other guys. See, I I don't agree with people when they say it died. Well, okay, when common most of the common writers con- left. Common consensus is it died after season nine. Yeah, I don't agree with that. I think it was still a pretty decent show for at least another. Six or seven seasons. Yeah, but you, like... Now, was it the show it was? No, because every Simpsons moment that people remember are all from the first nine seasons. Because they're the best. Yeah, I mean, the Blimpy Boy one, where Homer's sitting there upset because he didn't get uh, his ride on the blimp, and he's just sitting there with a pickle in his hand. (laughs) Hey there, Blimpy Boy, flying through the air so fancy free. Like, that stuck with me. Is The Simpsons still on? I imagine it is. It is, but I think the video I watched, uh, it was like, their ratings are the lowest ever. Yeah, but for them, though, I bet it's still pretty good. Yeah, it's like a YouTuber losing, (laughs) who has, like, over millions of subs losing. Talk talk, Talk about Jake Paul. We're just covering a whole bunch. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I don't really care. No, th- uh, it wasn't just him. Uh, I saw a bunch I mean, of you YouTubers at, tweeting out losing yeah. subs. You look at John Tron. Yeah. Yeah, he lost a bunch from that thing. And he's he still has still, millions. He still has millions, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we, we lost uh, one, and uh, I almost killed de- myself. <laughs> That's devastating. <laughs> Gained it back. Yeah. I don't know who it was. God bless. He saved a life. <laughs> uh, been watching a lot of uh, now because I still watch the the current incarnation of, of Opie and Anthony, which is now two different people, <laughs> Jim and Sam. Okay. Uh, but they were originally on Opie and Anthony. Blah blah blah. Anyway, been watching old Opie and Anthony bits, and they introduced a brand of humor that I didn't know existed, and is now the funniest thing in the world to me, which is pranking local news stations. With fake birthdays. So, like, they called in. It's fairly tame. It is. I mean, but was, compared to some prank videos. No, but I don't. Like, it's not. It's not as simple as, like, I call into, like, I don't know if uh, Halifax Local News does it. Probably not. But, probably. Um, it's not calling in and being like, yeah, it's Greg's birthday. And, haha, joke's on you. There is no Greg. Uh, they were like, um,. They're like, happy birthday to uh, Steve Benoit from all your wrestling buddies. And, and that is the name of Chris Benoit's son that he killed. <laughs> and I was like, that's fucking funny. Uh, actually, I don't remember if it was actually Steve, but still. God. Didn't know it existed. Oh, and, and also, if anyone wants a good time, uh, and, and especially in your current position, I, I'll, I'll send you like an hour and a half video. That I know you won't watch. Really been enjoying pedophile humor lately. Big fan. Colin. Big fan. Colin. I have a daughter now. No, I know. That's why I said, like, you really should watch them. No. 
there, there, there's. A... I, I'm sorry, I'm becoming that dad, but I'm become like before it was like, oh, that's that's funny. I'm a little uncomfortable, but it's pretty funny. Now it's all like I see it and I'm like, I'm gonna backhand you, son. I I watched like, I I mean I watched nearly the entire video of, of just. This guy pretending to be a pedophile, and it, uh, good laughs for me. Oh, yeah, pretending to be a pedophile, yeah, that sounds like a good time, until I fucking grab his arm and <laughs> dislocate it, and then curb stomp his ass. It's good time. Now, he likes boys, so your, your daughter's fine. No! That's not fine! <laughs> you don't just... Don't want to bring your kids into the pool? No. And play kiss the eel for a chocolate bar? Oh, Jesus Christ, Colin. Uh, Credit where credit's due, uh, because I said Jim and Sam, everyone who listens to them should know I'm talking about uh, Uncle Paul Hargis, but, uh, which is always funny to me, because I have an Uncle Paul who's kind of a weirdo. Not a pedophile, but like... He's not the one who blew himself up? No. His name was James. Actually, his name is Harvey. But I always called him James, and I never knew why until... And I've never questioned it until right now. Uh, but yeah, ha- having an Uncle Paul that is weird, and it, it's like the type of weird that if it came out in the news that he fucked a kid, I'd be like, yeah. That makes sense. I'm like, he, yeah, he, he, looked, he looked like a bad <laughs> I don't know. There's people we work with where I'm sitting there going, you look like a pedophile. There's only one. I won't call him by name. I'll say it off air. But there's only one that comes to mind for me. And I actually like this person, (laughs) which is the worst part. I think they're pretty funny. Uh, Well, I don't remember if we talked about this on here before, but have you ever... Actually, no. I know you've never done this. Because you don't go to movies with people. So no. you definitely have not gone to the movies alone. I've gone to movies alone. Okay. I went to see John Wick alone. Um, and it was the greatest time of my life. Like, that was amazing. Every, every time I go to a movie, and this has sat with me ever since... Um, was it The Dark Knight? The Dark Knight Rises? That big shooting? Oh, you mean where the kid kind of went in, shot up the theater, and said, well, Joker did it. So, something, something like that. Like it, it was the Batman shooting down in the States in, yeah. like, Utah or something. Um, ever since then, I always look at everyone walking in yeah. and being like, who's the guy who would have the gun? And I keep coming to the conclusion that because I'm the creepo that got there yeah. 45 minutes early to sit by himself, yeah. that I'm the one that everyone else is looking at as the creepo with we've the had gun. This, we've had this discussion before, like... We're kind of sitting there going, like, I'm scanning, looking at the person, trying to figure out if, you know, that overcoat they're wearing is just because they enjoy, they're an overcoat aficionado, or they're hiding just all sorts of uh, firearms, and then I'm sitting there going, like, or would I be the one, because I'm, I don't know, it turns into this whole mental game of... Like, would I be the bad guy and just... Or am I a good per? I don't know. It comes... I start questioning my morality and why I'm even thinking that in the first place. And then it just spirals into this existential crisis. I I think it's just fear as much as we don't want to admit it. We, uh... I mean, if we're gonna die, we don't really want to get shot at a movie theater. Yeah. Like, I'll take a bullet if I have to. but But not at a movie theater. I don't want people to know what I'm going... Like, that, that... I think that would be my biggest fear. Like, if I went... If just being shot in a place where I'd be, like, embarrassed. Massage like, parlor. Yeah. I'm trying to think what else. Well, typically a massage parlor isn't... Is just a fancy brothel. Not always. No, always. There's an app for that. It's called the Rub Map. 
usually if it's not a registered massage therapy center. Well, yeah, if you're not registered, sky's the limits. Yeah. But I think around here it's hard to find massage parlor because massage is is registered and there is like a a union for it. Anyone who's willing to sleep around in this city is probably half fish. L- like the weird fish people from like Innsmouth. Yeah. We talking Cthulhu monsters? <laughs> are you saying that there are creatures of the deep? Yes. And ghosts. Any anyone who is sleeping around willy nilly with any a, a prostitute, if you will, is a secret Innsmouth fish people. <laughs> well, I mean that park just outside my apartment. Apparently that was a good place to. Uh, Man, that take that a statue park. removal sure lasted a long fucking time. Which one? The one that. The uh, one right outside your house. Is Where, it gone or? Is well, it okay, there? so well, there was two sides. Yeah. Very similar to what's going on in the states. We'll touch on that later. Wait, uh, no, no, it's it was supposed to be gone like a month ago. Yes. Uh, so one side wandered down, one side wandered up. So. They came to an agreement and put a tarp over it. Yeah. yeah and <laughs> the tarp was gone the next day. Yeah. What a surprise. But, uh... Yeah. Fun. You, you want to just get right into the... Just put it in the on? museum. What, just what, put it in the museum. What? And then, uh... Yeah. Want to, want to talk about some Nazis? That's fucking bullshit. Okay. What a bunch of fucking... Babies. Okay, so f- for the first time uh, ever, I'm goodness. going to actually link a video. I know it's a little dated at this point because any it... sort of tragedy only really lasts in the public's conscience for like a day or two. So Charlottesville is already. It might as well have been in 1963. It, it, yeah, a week ago now. But uh, th- there's a fantastic uh, Vice piece that, I mean, credit where credit's due. They put that shit out real, real quick because it was still on the weekend. <laughs> yeah, and it's like a well done piece. Uh, and just, just go ahead and watch that. And if you can't watch it back to back with the guy crying about getting arrested, oh, did he get arrested? There, there is someone on Twitter who did mash them together of like clips of him saying horrendous shit and then cut back crying. to him crying. Oh, that's beautiful. Nothing like a grown male Nazi baby crying about going to jail after he said horrendous shit. Uh, so, and obviously, I've had a, had a lot of time to think about this. And, so, we've said it many times on this show. Canada does not have free speech. Yeah. So, our say really doesn't matter. Well, I mean, does it really matter? Should hate speech be allowed? Well, no. No. But, I, I mean, if we want to touch on our laws for a second, ours are a little much, because you can technically be sued for calling someone a name. That's a little harsh, I think. A little harsh. Hmm. Racial slur, a little different. The racial slur I can totally understand. Like, me calling you a dum-dum, you could sue me with our laws. <laughs> I could, but, you know, legal representation <laughs> costs a lot of money. So, now, I'm for free speech. I think it's good to have. Yeah. With the exception of being a Nazi. No. I think I that's a pretty reasonable I think stance. in a civilized culture, there should be no need for hate speech. Now, I do want to equally call out the left. You mean the not Nazis? Yes. And I, I don't even mean the, the quote unquote Antifa. Oh, they're just as bad. Uh, they're co- communists, socialists, Nazis. They're all oh, the okay, same. So I, I get, don't care. I, they're I, all the same. I, they're all fascists under a different name. I have two friends who. Are constantly posting like Stalin political messages on Facebook because they think it works. And I'm like, yep. Go ahead, and believe yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, he didn't kill more people than yeah. Hitler. 
if there's an infograph <laughs> of how many people he killed, it's like it's almost thirty million. Staggering. Isn't it? It's staggering how many people Stalin let die. The Battle of Stalingrad. To make the soldiers fight harder, he evacuated none of the women, none of the children, none of the non combative men. Everyone was left there, and they all died. So, his big strategy, Stalin, was throw soldiers at the Nazis until the Nazis basically froze themselves and shit themselves in their own trenches. They're just in their trenches, just waist up and frozen Argue shit. Argue what you will. As dirty as it is, scorched earth policy worked very well and they did win. It's one of those things of doing the right thing the wrong way. Anyway, so so we we can agree, hate speech no place. Yeah. Now, I think there is a little gray area because, like, I have made racist jokes in my life. You have indeed. I don't think that's considered hate speech. Call me a curmudgeon, but and, and now now don't get me wrong. I'm not a total dick. If I said something that offended someone, and I have. I will apologize to them, but I'm still going to make jokes. Now, you, you, you've known me for a long time. It's not like I'm shouting racist jokes all no, the time. No, it's not like you're walking down the street goose-stepping <laughs> like an idiot, and then you got one arm up, and if you ever did that, I'd probably lay you out on the pavement. But I have cracked them yeah. in my life. I'm sure you have, too. I'm sure we all have made Not some racist. Off. I mean, I have made some off, some off jokes. Some off jokes. I, I know the most usually at myself, and they're usually, you know, yes. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. I've completely de- derailed. I'm, I'm. You've got me on Nazis, and all I'm thinking about is just okay. So. My point is, we can agree no free speech for Nazis. It's good. Well, it's, good it, it's 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 fighting intolerance with intolerance. But okay, so the problem is, and what I want to talk about the the left, not even anti because like I agree, are arguably just as bad. Not as racially driven, no. but still not great. A fascist is a fascist no matter what flag they fly. So the problem is when everyone right of the left is a Nazi and they claim anyone right leaning doesn't deserve free speech. Like, okay, so Chris whatever his name is, the guy in that vice piece, who Mm -hmm. specifically said I will kill these people has been called a Nazi. Rightfully so. He has a swastika tattoo. Yeah. But then a guy who I don't love, but is a, you know, reasonable fella, Tucker Carlson on CNN, also called a Nazi just because he is a little right wing. So I I don't think, my my point is, left's got to ease up on the definition of Nazis. Because not everyone is a Nazi. Well, didn't we do that political test? And yeah, Well, you're a little right, and I'm a little left. Yeah. And by definition... I'm a Nazi? Yeah. Like, even joking about your thought police, you should be killed, according to some people in the left. Because you're a Nazi. If anything, that would make everything... And, and like, I'm left. I, I'm left-leaning. I'm pretty hippy-dippy. But but you're I lean you a little have a farther three right. Strike rule for yes jaywalking. I'm, yes, I'm a hippie. That's for the death penalty. It's a very weird mix up. I don't know. I just but I'd be stop considered crimes I'd, before they they're committed. I'd be considered a, a Nazi too. Just because I think I'm better than you based on the color of my skin makes me a bad person. <laughs> like that just part of me just 
If it wasn't you saying that, if it was anyone else, I'd just scream, yes, you're an awful <laughs> person. And the fact I have to yell that at you upsets me and just fills me with an unbelievable amount of seething rage. Well, I mean... Yeah. So, I want to credit to, to another Colin. Great man. Colin all, Hughes? All Collins are great. All of them. Uh, okay, I take that back. Some of them... You don't. You, ju- you just don't like Colin Fuse because he's British. I actually don't know who that is. He's the guy who makes uh, the rocket-powered go-karts. Oh, and right. Straps like thousands of bottle rockets to a bicycle. Uh, Colin Moriarty. He sounds like a villain. I'm kind of no, does. It's kind of just the Moriarty at the end. <laughs> Uh, so he, he has a YouTube channel, uh, Colin's Last Stand. It's pretty good. Does some politics, does history. It's a good, good channel. Go, go watch his stuff. I enjoy it. Uh, now, he, he made a statement that I'm not going to remember it verbatim. But essentially what he said was, the right is right, Nazis, and the left is left, Antifa, are both vocal minorities that are just the toxic of toxic. Yeah. And it's time for... The large gray in the middle majority to actually say something because we are mostly just going. That side has some points. That side also has some points. I don't like those guys. I don't like those guys either. And then we just kind of sit and twiddle our thumbs. And we go. I wonder when they'll just fucking kill each other. And uh, but to, to to take the fear down, us uh, uh, two studies were done. Apparently, uh, despite some of the videos will show. From Charlottesville. There's really actually not that many white supremacists. No. I Apparently mean, they're pretty small. What was it? it the boss, the rally in Boston. It was like a, a handful? Or... Uh, oh, you're I, talking about the, uh, the the recent like Boston yeah. free speech rally? Yeah. Where it was like... Under a hundred versus in the thousands. thousands. Yeah. And, and now... We should look more to that one. Because... To my knowledge, I might be wrong. I haven't heard anything otherwise. Nonviolent on both sides. Yeah. Good on you, both sides. Good on you? That should just be expected. Well, no, you're, you're right. Like, as a decent but... human being, there shouldn't be any violence. But then you have fucking Nazis and fucking Antifa. Jesus Christ. Well... Yeah, okay, violence shouldn't be expected. And, and look, I've talked Just about to... it before. I am in... Because I don't agree with your thought policing. Just, yeah. I am... T- I know it's absolutely outrageous. I am 100% fine with racists. No. Provided... No. They don't act on it. Because I'm no. not for thought police. Think whatever you want. Just don't act on it. There was a there was a comic of like, I don't know who put it out. I don't know if it was like some website or whatever. And it was like someone sitting on a bus who was a racist, and a black individual sits next to them, and they go, "This person's a racist," but they still let the person sit next to them, and they just keep that thought to themselves. I'm like, I don't really see a problem with that. Now, do I hope people aren't racist? Of course, I'd prefer that, but I don't think you're gonna get rid of them. It's going to be a few years, because you still have people who, a lot of today's racists grew up, I mean, if you're racist, it's almost 100% your parents are racist. Yeah. And if you're our age or older. your parents are inbred. And that it too. shows. But you got to keep those gene pools clean. If you're our age or older, your parents grew up in a time where racism was a little more accepted. So I think in due time it will slowly wash away. And also, I've been thinking about this too. Uh, so they also, uh, not a fan of the gays. Not me, the, them. The, yeah. the white supremacists. Yeah. You know what I don't see at a lot of these rallies? Women. Just no. a bunch of shirtless dudes. No, there were. No, like, I'm sure in, there are. In that vice piece, there were women marching 
with the neo Nazi stuff. I'm sure there are some. It's mostly a lot of shirtless dudes. Mostly, yeah. And I just want them to know that's a little gay. Well, there was that. You remember uh, how St. John had those uh, creep, not creep catchers? Yeah. Yeah. um, Apparently, uh, a creep catcher group in Cape Breton contacted one of the Charlottesville uh, neo-Nazis and uh, lured him up there with the promise of uh, setting up some sort of meeting with this fake 11-year-old girl. Mm -hmm. Now he's going to jail on charges of pedophilia. Beautiful. You know what I found out today? Now, I'm not the biggest fan of this group in the world. They got some hits. Uh, Jimmy Page, uh, guitarist of Led Zeppelin, for anyone who somehow doesn't know, had a 14-year-old girlfriend that he kept secret for years. Yeah. Now it was the 60s. Now, it was a different okay. time. And with express written consent of a parent, it's totally fine. No, she was a runaway. Oh. It was 100% not cool. Ooh. Ooh. But yeah, I j- just thought I'd, I'd ruin one of the greatest guitarists of all time. Uh, in other news, and maybe this will help cut down on, on the white supremacists, is a, a, a study came out and, uh, in, in Western civilization since 1973, sperm dropped 50%. What do you mean? We're going blank. Slowly. A few more years, Duncan. We'll just be out. So you're running. saying that humanity's... Uh... Witnessing, um, what is it, mass sterilization? Pretty much. In four, yeah, in 40 years, 50% is a lot. Like, on an evolution scale, 50 years to lose 50% of something? That's insane. Well, I mean, that's not too bad. I mean, considering how many, uh, like, we have technology now that can, like, and we have the medical mean, means that we can pretty much offset that. I mean, I guess. Uh, now, now, I'm purposely using sensationalist headlines because that's, okay. that's the only reason why I read this fucking article in the first okay, place. Okay, so... Uh, uh, it's basically... They said in 73, we had roughly 99 million uh, sperm per milliliter. Is it still in the million? It's just down to 47 million. But that's still a drop of I mean, 50%. <laughs> but it's still I mean, in the millions. Y- yeah. Well, I think... And, and, and honestly, honestly, it's probably... We're living longer. Mm-hmm. Uh, longer. Uh, and I think there was also... like There was a documentary I was watching where... Uh, Things that have shorter lifespans need to reproduce more, yeah. whereas things that lead longer lifespans don't need to reproduce as much. Well, I was also going to touch on that, like, we're just having less kids, so, like, we don't need as much. Yeah. And, uh... Also, apparently that living longer thing, apparently that's not super true. Well, I mean, technically we are. No, I guess it's the average is longer. Yeah. But what it was, is apparently it was totally normal for us to live into the 70s and 80s. It's just there were so many dead kids that it was really dragging that average down. Yeah. Um, But even still, yeah, we don't... Things are safer. Well, Well, yeah, medical technology... There was a kid wearing elbow pads and knee pads on a... Just a color? On a bike. Yep. And she had her little training wheels on. I was like, how is she ever going to get hurt? Like, she's got her helmet on, elbow pads, knee pads. And I'm sitting there, I was like, why not just put a Kevlar vest on her, too? Okay, well, okay, so there was someone on Twitter the other day who, who took a video of his daughter eating dirt. And I was like, good. Kids should eat dirt. No. Build up a goddamn immune system. I'm sorry, no. Um, As the parent of a child now, no. Like, there was at one point, and I think it's primarily the thought that if I fuck up once, child services will come. Oh, And they will take my child away. 
there is very little we what your baby's weight if it's under a certain amount for any period of time longer than several like a, a while they will come and take your child away fight them. yes fight please fight yeah grab grab your kid by the ankles and use her as a weapon they won't know what to do they can't block because then they're actively hurting the kid so they just gotta eat it on the chops maybe might screw the kid up a little maybe I really cannot wait maybe the kid will just grow up really like spinning fast and just becomes one of those people on the dirt bikes who like spinning those spheres maybe that's all that happens I really cannot wait until you procreate. Oh, they're not living long. <laughs> well, oh, oh, okay, so we'll, we'll touch on that. Because, no, nah, I, I wish I could just break it out now. Like, by the way, I'm having a child. That's not the case, unfortunately. No, because you don't tend to keep things locked down in secret. Oh, no. Something like that, I'd totally be able to lock down for a big surprise. <laughs> for a joke? Oh, You'd wait for a joke? Well, because we tried with yours. It just eventually slipped out. Yeah. Because nine months is a long time to keep secret. Yeah. <laughs> um, you... Uh, you, you know, let's just say some shit that your kid probably never wants to hear. Did you ever want kids, or did you just not want them now, or did you want them now? I, 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 don't, I, I don't know. I mean, I wanted some time to save up some capital. I mean, it, I, I was like, a little too late now. The decision has been made decision, for you. Yeah. yeah. No. I mean, I still haven't recovered from all the taxes and money I owed the government. For not telling them I moved. Good. Beautiful. And it's a little tight this month, so I'm kind of sitting here going... Kind of wish we had a little more time. But, but okay, still. Assuming everything was all copacetic. Bringing a kid into the world, not, not, not against it? No. Okay. Because I've always gotten flack for wanting kids. I don't know why I've always wanted them, I just have. It's just, I don't know. No, millennials. I spread my seed. See, when you, <laughs> say it, when you say it like that, I kind of remember why you're in your current situation, and I'm just like, yup. <sighs> totally makes sense. I mean, we can't talk about her, she's not gonna listen. <laughs> I got scared once because she told me she was listening to the podcast. I was like, oh god, please not this one. Uh, no, I I always think of uh, uh, I I hope you've seen Step Brothers. Yes. I don't care what anyone I, says. I've seen one of the funniest I've, I've movies seen, ever made. I've seen Step Brothers. The scene in, in his uh, therapist or whatever she was, her dream of Will Ferrell kicks down the door in a lumberjack outfit, and he's like, "I've traveled five hundred miles to spread my seed." That has sat with me for years. It's kind of a forgettable movie. Sir, no. I love that movie. I mean, other than... I can't remember a single scene from that. Other than the one you just told me. And even then, memories of fuzz. Comes in, Will Ferrell's all covered in sweat. He's like, why are you so hot? He's like, watching Cops. That's hilarious. Now, granted, a recent stream... Uh, 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 from from Shempai, the one that you keep rewatching. Yeah, the the guy that's on there that isn't Butterbuns because there's another dude. Yeah, who basically says, "Speak up, I can't hear you. I'm gay." Way funnier version of that. Which reminds me, another episode of The Simpsons where Homer's talking on the phone. He's like, "You're gonna have to speak up. I'm not wearing any pants." Great joke. Means nothing. It's fantastic. Was that after season nine? That, I don't know. Because that sounds like an after season nine joke. Probably. 
Want to talk about white supremacists some more? I got, I got more stuff to talk about. Okay, so there's another Vice piece. Okay. Uh, m- much shorter. It's called yeah. Dinner with a White Supremacist. Oh, fuck. Uh, where, uh, real cool guy, I've watched a lot of the stuff. Uh, Did Eddie... the interviewer just put his head on a pike? No, it was very civilized. Well, okay, it, it was civilized, but, like, it definitely got heated. Bad. yeah. They didn't yell, but it was clear there was, like, we do not agree. Because Eddie Huang, with that name, as you might imagine, is Asian. Yeah. Um... And I, I hate to say it. I really hate to say it. White supremacists made some points. <sighs> and by points, I mean one. Okay. And it's not that I agree. It's I understand. What? That now he's a close-minded wrong. Bigot? No, exactly. I think he he's wrong. And that his gene seed needs to be wiped from the fucking earth. But he said something along the lines of, I grew up, because this is in America, obviously. He's like, I grew up in this country, and like, you know, it is a it is a white country. No. If you, no, if you look at the numbers, large majority white. Um, and he said, no country is any color. No, no, no. I just mean ethnicity-wise, it is the majority white. That's only because we murdered the original. <laughs> and, and he said, what's wrong with keeping it that way? And while I don't agree what's, with that what's sentiment... Wrong, what's wrong with continuously breeding purebred dogs? Eventually, they become just completely unstable and suffer from so many diseases, so many genetic defects, that just the gene pool becomes just so fucking polluted and gross that you have just... Oh, no. No, don't get me wrong. It's not I agree. It's I get it. Because if you ask me, like, I would... Because in his mind, he's protecting his country. You're protecting King of Queens. Oh, that white culture that needs to be saved. Oh, it's under attack. But, but like, uh, Eddie Huang also countered with a very beautiful point of, like... Gotta protect Big well, Bang no, Theory. Well, no, we, because we that's white all culture right there. White culture is pumpkin spice, and I really hate that we're getting close to that again. What, uh, white culture is the fucking worst excuse. Uh, so, made a fair point of, we all come from Africa. That's a, it's a proven yeah. fact. We're descendants of like four mothers that had come from Ethiopia. But for some strange reason, white supremacists choose to stop the line at European. Where really the line should be stopped at wherever you're born. That's your heritage. We're Canadian. Mainly because I don't want to be associated with the French. And if we're Canadian... And I see, you know, a Muslim family or an Asian family. And they're, you know, they immigrated here and they got their uh, citizenship. Or uh, or they're re- even if they're trying for it or if they were born here, they're Canadian too. So we're the same. I don't care that they're a different color. And no one else should care. If you're both in the same country, you're family. And now... I did decide decide to look up some, some some stats, and that's the only reason why I said states is majority white, is because because I looked up the numbers, mm-hmm. and, and now obviously never been to the states, so I can't speak for them. So I'll, I'll quickly touch on their numbers and our numbers, very similar. Well, yeah, California has more people than Canada. Yes, uh, so seventy seven point one percent white, mm-hmm. coming in at second place. 13% black. Yeah. Huge jump. So to say that white is becoming a minority, do you know how many no. of them would just have to fucking die or leave yeah. to change those numbers? Up until recently, I never, like, I don't know, I, it was it was this video about, you know, the attack on white culture and mm-hmm. how it's absolute bullshit. And um, then at one point they're they're like, 
as a white person, you don't have to fear getting dragged out of your car and shot and killed. Yeah. Or beaten to death. It's like... I don't know where I'm trying to go with this shit. Suffice to say, I kind of... I don't know where I'm trying to articulate... Our culture is garbage. Anyone who argues that white culture needs to be protected obviously hasn't had to be dragged out, like, in out of their homes and just beaten to death. Everything I care about... King of Queens. Big Bang Theory. I don't watch this anymore. You totally do. Oh, okay. Funny story, actually. So, King of Queens... Uh, I do like I do like that show. Yes, you do. Now I haven't watched it in years because it hasn't aired for years. Uh, it, 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 uh, what the hell is his name? Kevin. Kevin. Kevin Paul Blart. Paul Blart. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Kevin. Oh, I I cannot forgive myself to continue without remembering Kevin James. Kevin James. Yeah. Uh, he, he's doing a new show. It's been on for a season or two called Kevin Can Wait. Where uh, uh, Leia Remini, uh, his wife from King of Queens, has been on the show as a guest star once in a while as a detective. Well, because they have such good on-screen chemistry, because they did a sitcom together forever, they're going to kill Kevin's wife in the sitcom so we can get with Leia Remini so we can have King of Queens too. Oh yeah, white culture needs to be... <laughs> no, but okay... Everything in our lives, yeah, like the two biggest factors, at least for me and to an extent you, video games, Asian culture, that's where it started. Yeah. Well, okay, it's not where it started, but I was gonna say. it's where it was perfected. In rock, which is where every other music comes from, it's black. Yeah. If you, okay... Fun little history lesson. If you've never heard what is considered the very first rock song ever, it's a good listen. Yeah. It's from like the 30s or something. Uh, Sister Rosetta Tharp did a song called Didn't It Rain. And you just got this big, black, like, don't need no man stereotype of a woman in front of a church with an electric guitar. And everyone's like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> That sounds amazing. It's great. And the song is, like, not something I'd put on my iPod, but, like, yeah. every now and then when I hear it again, I'm like, but it it's was not bad. Of, from that sprung... Everything else. Every, like, ev- like rock, and then rock gave birth to metal, and then metal just fucking treed into just doom, goth, thrash, viking, folk... Troll metal. Uh, so, so and, and to go back uh, to the whole, the, the whites thing. Uh, C- Canada, 76.7 mm-hmm. white, 14, what do you think our second one is? Asian? Bingo. Yeah. Um, I, I was going to say, because the Asian communities in both where I used to live and here are huge. Yeah. And and now, I can see, if you're super close-minded, I can see why you might think whites are going away. We're not. Well, okay, so I I actually have a perfect example for this. If I did something where I worked from home, like if, for whatever reason, this channel was booming, and I could work on this full-time, so I'd never really have to leave the house, I could make the argument that whites are gone. I live in a, like, primarily Asian and Middle Eastern block. Like, that's basically all I live around. There's very few white people. That doesn't bother me. It's just, that's how it is. But if I just walk to work, which I do every day, do you know what I see? Nothing but fucking white people. (laughs) Like, if you just look outside, like... It's entirely possible people who are white supremacists might live in a similar situation to me. Where they might live on a block and only drive a little bit down the street to work. So that's all they see. Is, you know, blacks or Muslims or Asians. And they go, where's all the white people? I'm, I'm scared. 
take a look at the bigger picture. They're still there, and they still outnumber everyone by you could combine everyone else together. And it still and we match still the double we still double them. Yeah. No, this it's unfounded. It's just completely irrational, and it doesn't make sense not to let multiple other cultures like it it just it humbles you it makes you realize that there's a bigger picture to the world you're a tiny little part of it and you have the uh, ability to make the world that much better but you choose to waste it on king of queens well here, you gotta defend. the other problem is a lot of people who like i don't get white supremacists who like other cultures but they just kind of ignore it like okay if you are going to be a white supremacist and all you watch is king of queens or whatever okay but i know for a fact that there are weeb supremacists who go like i only care about fucking white people but then all they watch is anime how does that go through your brain as making sense? That you can watch and enjoy something from another culture and you go, Boy, I love the whites. I hate whites. I wore these socks once and they're fucking red from my shoes. White are Whites are terrible. I know you're trying to make a joke there. I'm not. I'm really angry about these socks, actually. <laughs> This, okay. These weren't even through the wash with something red. It's just from wearing my red shoes, these white socks are red. Jesus, Colin. It's horse shit. Okay. How long has that been? Oh, Doug, we still have plenty we of still, time. I, I know we still have plenty of time. I'm just wondering if we can get off the neo Nazi. Yeah, yeah, we're, rant we're, for we're, a we're, bit. we're done that stuff. Don't, okay, don't worry. Okay, thank God. Uh, long, long story short. Nazis are bad, and that sh it shouldn't take two days for someone to come out and say, uh, Nazis are bad. Did you, see, did you see where Trump slipped up? Uh, there, there's an interview he did where he talks about uh, the left attacking, and he said, they came right at us instead of the right. Oh, you mean like that car that came? Okay, okay. Right. We're going at... right right back on this fucking topic again. Because we have to talk about the car. And the only reason why I have to talk about it is That because... whole scene was fucked up in that document. Okay. Like, that I, I get that people getting run over is fucked up, but watching it in the Vice article... Well, because well, the Vice doctor interviews the doctor that declared the girl dead. <laughs> well, no. It was also they showed the people getting just well, thrown I, over the hood of the car. I'd seen that video beforehand. Because, yeah. I mean, it is just cell phone footage that somebody took. Yeah. Um... I saw, Fucking in, in trying to keep an open mind, yeah. and I heard rumblings that something went down that might explain the car. Not forgive it, but explain it. And I went, I'll watch this. So the claim was that the vehicle was attacked first. So that gives Panicked and just drove forward to get away. And then continue to drive into a group. Okay, of people. so the thing is that no, no, doesn't, d doesn't make forgive that it. any better. Doesn't forgive it, but explains it. So I went, okay, I'll watch this video because they claim to have video proof of this. The thing is, doesn't happen. The, yeah. the so-called attack on the car doesn't happen as the car is already within 20, 30 feet of the crowd, going at a speed that even if they hit the brakes, are still plowing into people. Yeah. Someone hit the car with a stick because, you know, like, what the fuck are you doing? And they claimed that is what startled them. To As go the through car the, is already they were barreling already towards at the a people. distance that they were going to kill somebody. Fucking Christ. And I was like, you know what? I went into this video trying to keep an open mind. And you fucked yourself. Like, this video showed showed nothing but the other side is right. Yeah. And then the comments were just disgusting. As you can imagine. Because yeah. they go, yeah, that explains it. Mm -hmm. They attack first, fucking left, you know. 
car's doing like 80 in a 50 zone and there's a bunch of people in front of it. Oh, that person hit it with a stick. He's totally justified. Oops. <laughs> I think I crushed my phone. Uh, microtransactions. Okay. The best segue we've ever done. Neo Nazis into my. In, uh, I don't see a difference. Okay. Uh, so, we, we were talking about this the other day, and I specifically told us to put a plug in it. Yeah. So we could talk about it on air. And now, I originally gave you flack because you said, I'm not going to remember how I feel currently. I don't remember how I feel either. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm still upset. Now, okay, so because I. Because Jim Sterling brought up a good point. All microtransactions are are to speed up the process of you getting to your goal. You're f- taking the game and saying, I don't want to play the game. I want to spend my hard-earned money to get the thing faster. I do not want to play the game. Why are you playing the game? Okay. I did write down Jim's exact quote. Okay. Or I'm pretty sure this is the exact quote. Given how long it is, I, I, it, I, I, I doubt it's my own words. They unlock things now rather than later. More valuable to buy than play the game you just bought. If you're playing, if you're paying to skip stuff, it implies the stuff isn't worth playing. And if it isn't worth pe- playing, why is it in the game to begin with? Yeah. By adding value to time saved, suggests the time spent playing the game is worthless. Yeah. And now, originally, we kind of argued with this. And I think I've slowly come around. And I kind of agree. Because... And now my only, my only argument was Overwatch. Yeah. Because that is purely cosmetic. Yeah. Now, the game in question is uh, Shadow of War. Yeah. Where you're getting... Abilities. You're getting abilities, you're getting top tier recruits recruits for premium currency, or you can grind it out. You can play the game, and you might not get the big, like, top tier recruits or top tier abilities, but you're playing the game. And so when you do finally get those top tier recruits, those top tier abilities they're more like it's not only it's your time i don't know it's just i didn't the game there's more value to it i think because you're valuing the game you're with your time and then when you finally reach your goal your uh i don't know it just i it gives you a better feeling okay so There are people... Now, I know two people who really just, when they play a game, they just want to check out. Carl. That is one of them. Yeah. I I won't say that. You know how I feel about Carl and his gaming... But, but, I mean, it's more than just him. It's not like he's the only one. It's like, how do I make Dark Souls easier? Exactly. And you know what is for them? Microtransactions. (laughs) Now, 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 they would rather just cheat, which honestly is a better solution... Because you're not spending money, but you're cheating. Uh, well, I mean, I'm fine for cheats as a no. play game. As much as I've argued with people that I'm not. No. Because I think games are art and should be left as such. Um, I think... I think the problem is, is they are fine. They're just not for us. And now, the problem with microtransactions... You're devaluing the game. You're saying, I don't want to actually play the game. I want to spend my, my hard-earned money on not on things like groceries and, you know, real-world things that'll make my life better. I want to spend my money on inconsequential data that's not going to be around when this game stops being popular and get the thing now. You and I have both bought many a loot crate. (laughs) And that's when I was, and that was before when I was like, microtransactions aren't too bad. No, no, okay. I still hold, they're totally fine if done right. The problem is they're rarely done correctly. 
Um, Mortal Kombat X. Is that the most recent yeah. ones? Okay. So they got busted for it. They added microtransactions, but they said you can just grind it out in game. Yeah. Well, someone did the math, and the grinding would have required hundreds of yeah, hours. Four hours. Like, like an amount of time that no person, Could. unless you're a pro player, is going to sit and play that game for. Yeah. Uh, for Honor was the exact same yeah, thing. People you, were like, we want to unlock everything. And then they did the math that, behind it, and it would just be, to grind it out would just be an inconceivable amount of time whereas to buy it all it was all like two thousand something like that yeah. two thousand dollars to unlock everything yeah so yeah. i'm not against microtransactions as and, long then, as and then ubisoft comes out and they're just like oh well you weren't meant to unlock everything and now and i i half agree with that okay like realistically you're gonna only find your few characters that you like yeah and get their things. Like in Overwatch, I'm not trying to get everything no, for everybody. I've got my Bloodheart skin. Yeah, like I'm going to get my skins for the people I like, and that's all I care about. But seeing that bar complete would be pretty nice. It would be. But I wonder if someone's ever done the math, math on Overwatch. Because they keep adding things to it, too. Yeah. I and think China did, because at one point China uh, forced Blizzard to release the odds of... Oh, no, no. It is what? a law in China that every game with microtransactions has to tell the odds. Yeah. Because it's, a fa it's, it's essentially... Microtransactions on randomized loot is essentially gambling. Yes. It's, it's just gambling. So, like... Which is... Okay. Uh, actually, here's a, here's a perfect example, because we talked about the game before. Um... I think microtransactions on cosmetics, be it random or not, are essentially fine. It doesn't change the game in any way. It doesn't affect your skill. It doesn't affect your plan either because it, it changes so little on screen. It might change your reticle and it changes the gun in your hand, but other than that, it's a, a first-person game. What you, you see doesn't change, really. Mm -hmm. Battlefront 2... Is having loot boxes. Oh yes, the that loot do boxes affect skill. That increase like power and damage. So and... that is the worst kind of gambling because now someone who does pay more money will just because Dominate. the amount of time you're spinning the dice, rolling the dice, you will just get better things because you're spending more money. Yeah. Now you could luck out and get a top tier thing in your first go, but how likely is that? Not it's pretty fucking unlikely. So, but the problem is, they stick around because people are buying them. Yeah. As long as people are paying money, it's not going anywhere. I don't know. It's, it's like in Grand Theft Auto. Mm -hmm. I bought a shark card mm -hmm. once or once. I used it to buy, I think, a supercar. And then immediately I was like, I hate this car. Like, there's nothing connecting me to it. I didn't grind out missions. I didn't do heists to make the money to... Like, there's no... There's no like, one of the cars I have, one of the supercars, it's not the best supercar. It's an all-around supercar. Um, but I grinded weeks to get it. Yeah. Like, for... Like, for practically the better part of a month, I was saving, I was doing missions, I was doing heists, I was constantly doing them over, like, just really working for it. And when I bought it and then upgraded it to its, like, custom form, it felt so good, and I had, like, and I don't think I've ever, like, I've, like, other cars I've gotten rid of and been, like, this car's trash this car's trash but this car has stayed with me really since what since i started grand theft auto and then since then i was like okay i'm not going to buy any more money i'm just going to work for my money and i've like i have the million dollar penthouse that thing i like you fuck. also did have a sugar daddy Not really. Because there's no... Re unless you're, like, constantly doing missions with them, there's no way to give you money, and you can only give as much as you earned on... Like, like say I steal $1,000 from a convenience store in Grand Theft Auto. You can only give a th 
up like a thousand dollars like anything from one to a thousand so you can't like I can't sit there and I say I have like billions of dollars in my bank I can't take from my bank and give it to someone so to say I had a sugar daddy I really meant I had someone who would do missions and heists and just and give you a cut give give me give me a little bump or cut and, and he, he taught me you know how to play the game and you know strategies for doing different missions and heists so I was kind of learning at the same time. Yeah. Anyway, microtransactions. We still on them or are we done? Pretty much done. Okay. I, I mean, it, it, it's... I mean, I already said it. If they can be done right, I support them. But they can't. I, I don't know a game that's done it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so... so uh, do you know... Do you know a man by the name of Mitch Lowe? No. Okay. Co-founder. Netflix. Okay. Big man. Big, big man. Yeah. Big dreams. Uh, he's got a new thing. Okay. It's called Movie Pass. This is making the rounds. People are perking their ears up. Going, mm, what's that? <laughs> what's that over here? Um, and the basic pitch is... For basically the price of Netflix, ten dollars US a month, yeah, you can go to the theaters and see anything you want, unlimited, for ten dollars a month. Now, three D and IMAX, you have to pay the difference. Yeah, but still, unlimited movies for ten dollars a month in the theater. Well, I mean, our workplace is doing that eight dollar bulk tickets. Yes, I don't know how that's gonna work. You buy tickets in bulk. Yeah, I don't like that, though, because I like seeing weird shit, so I'm never going to get advantage of that deal. <laughs> I guess. Um, so, obviously, that sounds like what's up, because that just sounds like movie theaters are going to lose a ton. Well, but anyone who knows... They don't make... Tickets ain't where they make the money. No, it's all in concessions. Exactly. So if you have way more people coming in... Because suddenly unlimited movies for ten dollars, that's more concession sales. Yeah, or just more people going up to the dollar store up above, filling their pockets and purses with candy, and then sneaking. It you all know, in. I th I think that's a minority of people. I actually don't think it's a lot of people. Chumps is what we call them. True. You're not wrong. Because I ain't paying twenty dollars for popped corn when I can go to the bulk barn and buy just a bag full of fucking what's a candy Werther's Original Werther's Original <laughs> I have no idea what that is something that every old woman has in a jar somewhere in their house right on t like a jar of Werther's Original and oh those little uh, taffy things yeah. hard taffies and then they just sit on a doily yep okay Everyone's got them. I like them. Yeah, no, they're, they're, no, they're fun. good candy. I don't see anything wrong with that. Uh, so, w would that be something... Well, Now, you don't see a ton of movies. No. So do you think you'd probably not... I don't think I wouldn't. I think I would. Well, you see a lot more movies than yes. I do, so that makes total sense for you. But for someone like me, unless they were showing like an anime movie that I like really wanted... like. Princess Mononoke, Kiki's Delivery Service, uh, Red Line. Have you watched Red Line yet? Yes, I watched it okay. like a year ago. We've talked about it. I, I, I borrowed it from you. I, I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta keep checking. <laughs> Fucking great. Uh, seven years <laughs> to make that movie. I watched the movie uh, yesterday morning. It's yeah. very, very neat. Oh. It's called Shimmer Lake. It's on okay. Netflix. And uh, it's the only movie I've been tempted to rewatch backwards. Because the movie plays in reverse. Now, I don't mean literally plays in reverse. The movie takes place over a few, like five days or something. And it plays the last day first. Okay. So, like, 
So you mean like watch the last day? Like, I want to see it in the correct order. Yeah, which would be watch the end of the movie. The first. sequence of events. Yes, watch it in chronological order. Because like there's people who die who are then alive in the next scene because it's the day before. Yeah, and you're like, oh, how does this unfold? And I want to see if the movie holds up watching it in the correct order. My guess, no, because one of the twists would be revealed pretty quickly. <laughs> Okay. Um, but also, only because you mentioned Redline, which somehow made me think of Pacific Rim, which then made me think of Guillermo del Toro, which made me think of... I've been watching Troll Hunter. Yeah. Good show. There's a Pacific Rim poster up in his room. Now, it's not called Pacific Rim, but it's clearly, like, the poster from the first movie of, yeah. of like, the Jagger standing in the ocean. Yeah. Like, it's so clearly Pacific Rim. It, it, it It's... Yeah. Pacific Rim 2? It's coming eventually. Oh, I'm so hard thinking about it. Alright. So so we got we got two more things. One, I, I get a little big talk with someone about this. Uh, over the week. And it's... Uh, I, I, I called this, and we'll take from it what we will. YouTube monetization and viewers' quests for free content. So... A lot of people say uh, Netflix is better than cable yeah. because ads. I don't agree with that. No. I think it's because it's no. cheaper. No. Cable's awful. That two weeks I was gone and all I had was, like, I, I'd try and watch TV and it would just be, like, two minutes of ads and I'd sit there going, like, this is TV now? And it's just, cable companies... Like, I don't know what kind of cable package my parents have, but there's nothing on. It's, like, uh, trash pickers, or, or, you know, they go around to people's houses, they look for valuable stuff. It's five hours of that, five hours of Border Wars, maybe one documentary, how it's made for goddamn two hours... Uh, live action shows that are aimed towards kids that aren't cartoons, and I'm sitting there going, where are my goddamn cartoons? Okay, no. Much Music <laughs> has a seg- a 30-minute segment where they play music, mm-hmm. and I'm just like, oh, Much music playing music? Holy shit! Now, okay, so I don't think cable is good. No, it's not The good. best way to do cable is I only know one company that does it, and it's not even widely available, so you might as well ignore it. Yeah. A uh, PlayStation has a cable service called View. Oh, it does. Where you can just pick the channels you want, and that's it. Oh, that's. And brilliant. you are not charged for the shit you're not watching. It is the ideal cable package. Really. In, in all honesty, if I could pick from a few channels, I would have cable. Yeah. There are a few channels I would like. But I don't want seven seven channels of TSN. Yeah. Or. I uh, fucking I, 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 like cable companies are so out of touch with the fucking populace. It's amazing that those dinosaurs are still around, and it's just the goddamn masses that just kind of sit there and mindlessly go, "Oh, gotta King watch of Queens. The, can't, gotta watch King of Queens." Now, okay. I gotta get my king of queens in. So, <laughs> even even back in uh, the cable heyday, yeah, we all there was always cable cutters or cord cutters, whatever they're called. Yeah. Guys were splitting it and then splitting it and stealing cable. Yeah, yeah, always happened. Uh, and then Netflix came out, and ooh, Netflix has all the shows I want. It's cheaper. Yeah, and there's no ads. It's a win-win. Yeah. So that killed cable. And now YouTube's on the rise. Because, like, in all honesty, yeah, I watch Netflix. But, like, the majority of my content watched are YouTube videos. Yeah. Now, and the reason why I brought the... Where I wanted to talk about this is someone sent me a video of someone basically pleading to their audience. Of, like... Saying, like, I can't support myself anymore. Which... Now, I don't know this person that well. 
In fact, I've only ever seen this. Is this Angel's three H three? No, no, no. Because he's pleaded to his audience. Yeah, and I think he's full of shit. I, I, that act when he said like it's hard to make money, it made me actively hate him because he's a lying piece of shit for saying that. Because he, okay, so my my comparison has been and always will be is I know roughly how many subs the best friends had when all of them quit their jobs and split the income four ways, yeah. and it was under five hundred thousand subs. Yeah. So anyone who has around that much says they can't support one of them is living above their means. Yeah. And that's their own fault. And so basically this guy was saying like, you know, please donate to my Patreon. And look, I am 100% Patreon supporter. Yeah. All for it. I think, I think it's a great thing. Because, well, we had ads on YouTube so people could get money. But uh, again, the viewer wants free content. So Adblock came around. Yeah. And I'm not perfect. I have Adblock turned off on YouTube. But for any YouTubers I know who have their own websites, I have it turned off there. Because I want to support them where I can. And and now this person individual... And it's not... I don't want to sound like I'm calling out them. Because I know it's not just them. Because barely anyone gives to a Patreon when you watch a YouTuber. So... You're like, oh man, it's so sad. Like, YouTube is ruining this guy's career. But also, I'm not paying for it. Like, at what point does the viewer... Like, it's the viewer's fault. They want this content to be yeah, made, and they, and they don't want to pay for it. Yeah. Like, it is our fault. Well, I mean, originally, YouTube was not profit. Yeah. And so this person got mad at me when I said... I'm glad they're not... Now, I was kind of exaggerating. But I said, I'm glad they're not making any money. Do it for the love. Yeah. And they took offense to that. And I told them, as much as the quality is not out of the roof, when situations are normal, we put out a video or more every day, and we don't make a fucking dime. So why someone can't put out a video every... Once a week... For the love. I don't know. Yeah. Like, you clearly have the time. Even if you worked a full-time job on top of it, you have the time. Because we have a job. Yeah. And, and if, like, our job is not a 9 to 5. No. Like, if things are tight, you're in, like, fuck, I spent... 12 hours in there yesterday? Yeah, exactly. Like we On a ha- Saturday? Yeah, we have days like that. You come in early, like, you stay late. For the past late. two weeks, it's been 10, 10 hours, 12 hours. Uh, there was one... Uh, fuck. Now, I can't do you that. were in a slightly different position because you also... Took two ca- weeks. You up. came back from taking time off to crunch time on an episode. Yeah. So... Was real on bad. an episode that was already <laughs> done. Yeah, like we we sat there for two weeks. I sat there for two weeks, going like, "Dave, is there any work?" And he's like, "No." <laughs> this episode went by real fast. It was real easy to do. We don't know what to do. we've got whole teams of people who just don't know what they're doing, what to do. Now, oh jeez, what? Uh huh. Uh, oh, uh, Colin. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Is it saved? No, okay, we're, we're fine. Okay. We're fine. Ignore it. Ooh. I'm going to have to, like, slowly fiddle this with this okay. while we talk. Uh, pick a time. Oh, is it trying to restart? Yes. For updates? Oh, pick fuck. a time. Uh. Oh, that's such a nice breeze. Oh, that does feel good. 9 p.m. Yes. Yes? Isn't this fun to talk about? Yeah. Ooh. Have okay. you watched uh, Marvel Defenders yet? I, I watched uh, some of the first episode. I'm not blown away currently. I mean, that's typically how these Marvel <laughs> shows go. Uh, now, it was getting kind of late, and my roommate said something so beyond stupid that it just kind of took me out of the mood because oh. uh so Char- charlie cox and the actor who plays daredevil yeah uh i'm sitting in my room and goes is he blind i was like do you mean like the character because 
yes yes or do you mean you know she's like no i mean the actor i was like no he can see and she's like well that's a little unfair isn't it i was like how many blind actors do you know how many blind actors can i don't know any actually i know deaf actors there there's um I know uh, deaf actors. Um, well, I, there's two, and I'm trying to think of the one whose name I don't remember first. Um, I want to say Mary Magdalene, but I, <laughs> I know that's wrong. Fuck. Um. Okay, so she was arguing that. Uh, yeah, and I, I was just like, I'm done. I, I was actually close. It's Mary Matlin. Okay. Uh, she, she's been in a lot. Yeah. Uh, not lately, because she's a, a little older. And, and, and Lou Ferrigno has hearing problems as well. Well, I mean, hearing problems are kind of easier to get away with than being blind. Yes. Especially in a medium where, like, you have to kind of react to visual cues. Well, and especially where David Olu is a martial artist. Yeah. Like, now I know a lot of it's a stunt double when it gets really crazy, but even for the softer stuff going to be hard to teach a blind man to fight. Uh, so that really just ruined the whole thing for me. My favorite, when you texted me and uh, she was like, is this Furious 5? Oh, no. And I'm no, sitting is there, this the Fabulous fa- 5? Oh, Fabulous 5. And I'm sitting there going, like, there's only four. <laughs> there's only... I originally thought it was Furious 5, so I'm sitting there going, like, uh... Uh... Luke Cage is Vin Diesel. Er, is Vin Diesel, um, and already I realize <laughs> I, what mistake I've made. Anyway, I'm just just sitting there going like, "What Daredevil is uh, Paul Wright? Paul? Shit. Paul Walker? Paul Walker?" <laughs> and I'm like, "Oh, he's dead." <laughs> Ooh, no, she. Uh, not to. I, I try to keep the roommate shit talking to a minimum, but uh, she got so high the other day that she lost all concept of time. So I watched two episodes of Troll Hunter. Yeah. And they're 22 minute episodes. Yeah. And she thought seven hours had passed. Jesus. She's like, What time is it? She's like, You've been watching this for a long time. I was like, Not really. It's been two episodes. <laughs> She's like, oh, these episodes are just really long then? No. They're 20 minutes. It's only been an hour. <laughs> Not even. It would have been 45 minutes. Well, even still. I mean, if it, if you were watching TV, it would have been an hour because of all the ads in between. You're right. All right. Final topic. And I was going to open with this because uh, the stats show no one gets to the end of these things. Okay. And, uh... I just have it written down here. All of our videos are garbage. What should we do? Get good? (laughs) Well, haha. God, I hate that argument. That is the most not, like, that just shuts down any kind of, kind of, no, just get good. Energy. You know what bugs people that I say? When someone sends me something that they think is funny. And I don't laugh, and I say, I've seen it. Yeah. That, it really gets under people's oh, skin. Oh, <laughs> does it ever. Uh, We're on the internet all day. Of course someone's going to see it already. Yeah. I, I have a, a Facebook, a Tumblr, and a Twitter. It's going to be real hard getting something before I've already seen it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so... I think... This podcast, this specific one, not it as a whole, has been pretty good. Well, yeah, we haven't seen each... We haven't talked to each other... In in over a month. month, So we actually have things to talk about. But in all honesty, we didn't really touch on shit that's happened to us personally. We could do a whole other episode after this on... on No, we couldn't. No, we couldn't. We had a very lengthy, unrecorded talk... That we probably should have recorded uh, last week or the week before. In which we talked about you being a new dad. That could have been an entire episode, but I was too lazy to set up a microphone. Don't procreate, kids. It's (laughs) awful. 
Now, taking care of another human being is not great. We'll see. Okay, so it's not exactly hidden that I tried to do something, actively do something different when we played Rise and Shine. Yeah. I don't think it worked. What were you trying to do? I was like doing voices and shit. It just oh, was not. Oh, yeah. It was not great. Now, I rewatched some of those episodes. Not terrible. Not our best work. I just, I just wasn't into the game. No. I think that was one problem. I sat there going like, this is a nice looking game. I don't like the gameplay though. I still hold... Now, you weren't audio in this video, but you were a part of it. I still hold... I might be wrong. Our Prey videos are the best videos. That's because you were in the chat with Brandon. And we were just making jokes the whole time. It was actually very fun. I think it's probably our funniest stuff. But since then, it's just... Well, like, Bloodborne. We both love Bloodborne. Most of them kind of suck, too. I haven't touched it. Yeah, well, are, are we playing that after this? It's still early. Yeah, we could get some episodes. We could do some recording on that. At least, at least a week <laughs> it's yeah. worth. Um, I'm still in jail. Oh, fuck. Are you really? Yeah. Oh, I because remember when we tried to record it last, it was uh, that charity game thing. Oh, going on. right. We couldn't We couldn't stream. And I assume where Gamescom is this weekend. Next week. Oh, this week? Yeah. I thought it was this weekend. No, it's during the week. Okay. Um, yeah, so ho hopefully we'll be fine on that front this time. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I honestly don't know... Because I, I don't know anyone personally who, like, does what we do well. Mm -hmm. So I can't be like, hey, real huge, talk, what's some advice? Yeah. I don't know. It's... I might actually send an email... To the best friends and see if they get back. Because, I, I don't know. In, in all honesty, all I mean, you're right. Get good is our only answer to each other. Well, I mean... I know that's not the answer, but we don't know what else to say. The thing is, sh sh like, I don't want to make this my primary source of income. Well, no, I don't I'd either. I'd rather just... I. I'd prefer to animate, and this is something I do on the side for fun. Yes. Like, I'm not... Well, my exact quote to you the other day was, I could care less if we had, like, ten or a million subscribers, as long as I was happy with the videos. Yeah. I'm not. <laughs> some am, some not. Well, but, I mean, I still, re I still put them up, so... I mean, we just... I keep thinking my front door is not closed and it's freaking me out. I was gonna say you keep looking at it. Um, I mean, we've we haven't even been at it for a year now. No. I mean, I get that we've just shat out a lot of content. Mm -hmm. Coming up on our eight month anniversary. Yeah. I. And I'm listening to a podcast that is currently on pause. That is episode one thousand. Yeah. I mean, we, we, I'm not saying, like, yes, we should have found our rhythm by now, rhythm <laughs> by now. but the, tr the fact of the matter is, like, not a lot of YouTubers find their rhythm for a while, or at least have better, I don't know. I mean, I think you kind of hit the nail on the head of, like, we should stop playing garbage, like Mr. Massage. -y. Okay, no, that was the right amount of garbage. Okay. Where we only played it for one sitting, and that was it. And could we have cut it short a little bit? Yes. No, I think we needed to get to the Wolf Girl. But like Snake Pass stuck around too long. Yeah. We should have just stopped. I th I think I think that's our key. When we are bored of the game, just stop. Okay, like we said, someone told us we are incredibly close to the end of Rise and Shine. Guess what? We're not finishing not. that game. It wasn't fun. Uh, which reminds me, I think I left some of those videos out of a playlist. Not that it really matters. I mean, it's, it's a nice looking game. I'll give it that. The backgrounds are pretty. The characters are interesting. 
Um, but the gameplay, I just, I don't like it. Okay, on a more on a more positive swing, what's next? Now we still got Bloodborne. Yeah. Somehow. Um, I assumed. Okay, so there's two games that come out. Okay. One comes out Tuesday. Which one's that? And another comes out the following Tuesday. Which one's... And I want to play both. Okay. Been Leaning more towards the second one. Okay. Because it's something we're both interested in, I think. Which is it? Tell me! <laughs> Tell me what these things okay. are! Okay, so this Tuesday is the new Uncharted game. Okay, no. I, I... Uh, which... I'd want to play because uh-huh. I like Uncharted. But I also would want to play it not on your schedule. Yeah. And the other game is, the one we've been talking about for a while, is the remake of Yakuza 1. Yes. Um, now, we have to ideally try and find something to pad out until that comes out. Yeah. Which will be even longer because you said you might be busy this weekend. Well, it's not even out this weekend, so it doesn't matter. But the weekend, it, the first weekend it is out, you get shit going on. Yeah. So we're not recording then. So we got a, a, a while before that starts, which means we got to figure out something to fill in that hole. And we're, we're working on something. The other question is... Uh, Did you puke a little in your mouth? A little bit. Oh, boy. Just thinking about doing work. I got <laughs> sick. It is... Uh, have you thought of, and this might be a simple have yes you, or no when, question. When you start the sentence with, have you thought of, oh shit. Have you, has anything crossed your mind of like, oh, I'd like to do this kind of video. Because all we do is a podcast and LP, that's it. Yeah. Has anything be like, oh, I would like to do a video on this thing. You can say no, because mine is also no. Like I mean... There have been days where I'm sitting there watching either Super Eye Patch Wolf or Butter Super Butter Buns or uh, any kind of time TV puts out a video where it's like I talk about such and such for sixty minutes. Yeah, there are kind of those moments where I'm sitting there going like maybe a more research based video. Okay, so you're pretty much exactly where I'm at, which is like. Because I've watched content similar and I go, yeah. something like that would be nice, yeah. but I don't know what. <laughs> I have no real thoughts. Or Okay, so like, uh, the, the Grumps, Game Grumps have a podcast called The G Club. Yeah. And that is basically TB's I Talk About This. All of their episodes are a single subject and that's it. Yeah. Most recent one with the Metal Gear. It's a good episode. Other you were losing Other than mind. what Susie said. You were Susie is wrong. You were losing your goddamn mind. You were re- you Metal were f- Gear Five, the best looking game ever made. Fuck you. Best. That is pretty nice. No. Games that year were better. She's t- still today. She thinks it looks the best. The game is two years old. Looks like shit. It was pretty nice. And it's a fun game. I'm not going to trash it. But. Not my snake. <laughs> Spoilers. Spoilers for like... A, a, a two-year-old two game. game. Who... Anyone who hasn't watched... Like... If you haven't seen Spoilers or had that whole kind of thing spoiled for you, you're living under a rock. Yeah. You know what I'm surprised is... uh. I kind of stopped watching Game of Thrones. I just... For me, the show has run its course. Yeah. I just don't care anymore. Maybe if someone else is watching it, or someone goes, hey, let's watch this. Like, I'm not opposed to watching more. But I haven't watched any of the new season. And, like, a few episodes have come out. And I used to... When I was watching the show, terrified I'd come across spoilers. Now that I'm not watching it, I haven't seen shit. I don't know anything that's happening. I don't know anyone who's died, if anyone has died. I don't know... I don't know shit. And I'm like, oh, this feels good to not live in fear of mm. spoilers. Same with Rick and Morty. I don't watch that either. I know about Pickle Rick. 
or whatever the hell that the is. Dumbest fucking episode. Well, people like it. Because if it's all I know, it means it's pretty. Well, and there's that clip you keep sending me of them crying. I, I, <laughs> I legitimately enjoy that bit because it's just such a. Like, it's the combination of just sorrow, exhaustion, and just seething anger just all let out all at once. Like, before, they're just kind of sitting in the spaceship, just kind of blankly staring. And then, the, as they start to slowly decompress, you can just see the cracks in their emotions and psyche just break all at once. And they are just reduced to their base id. Kind of like what uh, they do on Hot Ones. Oh, yeah. Kind of like taking the performer. Shout out to Sean Evans. You should come on this show. No. We'll eat hot wings together. I don't like hot wings. That's the point of the show. Yeah, but no, I don't like eating them. What is wrong with you? I don't I don't like ribs either. That's fine. I don't either. Okay. Well, okay. I can take them or leave them. But. Hot wings, ribs. Chicken wings. No, I don't. I don't like, I don't like dealing with the bones. You can go boneless. That's fine. I mean, it's essentially... Then what's the point? You might as well just get a chicken breast. Well, at that Or a point, chicken... You might as well just go to McDonald's boneless and get chicken some wings chicken are, nuggets. Boneless chicken wings are just adult chicken tendies, and there's nothing around that. And guess what? Every time I go to Boston Pizza, I'll always get the boneless, because they're just better. Uh, I am kind of interested in trying that uh, hot sauce they have, the one with the blueberry in it. Yes. I don't know if it's on the current season of Hot Ones. I don't think so. I think it, it was on the last season, but it's like something it's, with blueberry. I think it was ghost pepper. Ghost pepper with blueberry, Sounds yeah. pretty bad. I don't know. But also, I like, like... blueberry. These uh, sauces are so ridiculously distilled from the actual pepper. Yeah. Because I watched... I showed an episode of Hot Ones to my friends, and their hottest sauce currently is like a little under a million yeah. Scovilles, which is insanely hot. Yeah. But my friend's like, that's, that's pussy shit. Because he had a chip that they make, it's like $8 for a single chip or something, and it's 2.2 million. Yeah. I watched him die on video. He's dead. <laughs> Did he vomit at all? Or? No, I don't think so. Actually, took it pretty well. Because like, usually when you eat something really hot, that's one of the first things that happens. You just vomit everything up. I mean, all things can... Well, it was like me. Where I forgot the, the other day when I ate that pepper at work. Yeah. I forgot the heat was in the seeds. Took a little nibble. I'm like, oh, this is fine. And then popped the whole pepper in my mouth. I'm like, this was a bad... This was a mistake. I sat there just <laughs> circling the peppers like a vulture. Going like, I could totally take one right now. You could, they're free. That's why I took one. At the time, the kitchen was full. I succumbed to peer pressure. Oh. Well, because Carl knows I like hot things. He's like, you can get your pepper? And I was like, thinking about it. And then James is like, hey, Colin, how about a pepper? I was like... You <laughs> have <laughs> such a man crush on Dave and James. I love James. He's great. All right. It's that time of the show. Okay. Mail time. Letter time. No, please, no. There's no. There's no. Surprise. Surprise, surprise. Um, so, because I can't get descriptions to work on iTunes, or I don't know how to fix it, because normally when it comes to plugs, I would just say, read the description. Yeah. But that doesn't work on iTunes. Yeah. So, we do have to do our plugs still. Okay. I don't know how many people listen on iTunes, but because I, I haven't checked recently. But it's more than YouTube, and that's scary to me. A little bit. Because where the fuck are they coming from? Yeah. So, I am Colin on Twitter. I am... 
Power Moose Colin or at Metal Gear Whale. I guess that's technically the thing yeah. to search up. So I'm at Metal Gear Whale on Twitch. If you want to watch us record uh, games um, live, I guess it, it's Power Moose Colin. Very consistent. Tumblr for some, if you care for that for some reason had had a milf porn site follow me on Tumblr feel pretty good about that ah. gotta get that milf demographic <laughs> um which is weird because my ro- most recent post was about uh, cooking which I guess that explains it but uh yeah me- a Metal Gear will there as well Duncan take us home um on Twitter, I'm at append gray. Append one. Append nope. one. Nope. I don't know. I, no, append gray on Twitter. Append gray on Twitter. Um, I think that's with one p. Sure. A p p. Why can't you just change it? I don't know how to change it. I don't either. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm almost in my thirties, Colin. I don't know how to do shit. It is two p's. Okay, it is and two then piece. gray with an a. And then yeah. Some people spell with an E. Yeah, the British. And the incorrect. Are you saying that because I spelt it the Americanized way, it's incorrect? You You have no... You called it that because it's your fucking name. Spoilers, Duncan's last name's Gray. Yeah. Fuck you. Mine's Bro. Spoilers. Yours Megan, is so much better. Megan, track us down. Now you can sit there and be like, hey, bro, 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 bro. <laughs> be bro. Bro, 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 bro. Bro, 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 bro. Um, is, that, is that just the ocelot, lu la li le lo? Lu la li la lo. <laughs> oh, fuck. Did you know Shipping Boss and Ocelot has their own ship name and it might be the greatest ship name of all time? Bossalot? Bossalot. <laughs> That's amazing. Jesus, God. That's just, that's up there. That rivals Total Cox. No, <laughs> no, because Total Cox has some good fan fiction. I imagine Boss a lot does too. Yeah, but it's it's not on the same like <sighs> Jesse being written as a bottom is. Just... Oh, and he gets so upset too. <laughs> I. I... I've been meaning to sit down and watch the whole video, but uh, there's a YouTuber, I think his name's like Short Fat Otaku, which just sounds like a YouTuber you want to watch. Yeah. Uh, put out a video on like why, you, I think it's called like why YouTubers become assholes. Yeah. And it's specifically targeting, targeting like, Jesse and Total that Biscuit. That whole traps are... And like, I haven't watched the whole thing yet. I only watched like a few minutes to like put it in my history so I could, even though that's what Watch Later is for, but nobody uses that. Yeah. I just put it in my history so I can go back and watch it later. Uh... I was reading some of the comments and it was basically saying like, why do people think that the viewers have should have any input on what a YouTuber does? Yeah. And they shouldn't. Doesn't matter how big or small the channel is. You come there for what that YouTuber wants to do, so fucking deal with it. Yeah. I'm not gonna bend over backwards, like just so someone can be entertained. No, like the most input I'd ever give fans is if, say, we had a few games that we both agreed on, we we want to play these four games or something. But yeah. we can obviously only play one or two. That's when you do, like, a poll. Yeah, see what the audience <laughs> wants. Other than that, if someone says, hey, you need to put more enthusiasm, you'd get more views into your... if you'd just be more enthusiastic about it. And that. you'd be like, maybe I'd be more enthused if I wasn't busy wiping shit yeah. off of a human being. Fuck off! I'm an adult that's trying, that's doing a podcast and let's plays for fun while holding down a job and raising a child. You can fuck off the edge of my dick. What if she is a white supremacist? Oh, then I'm gonna beat her. <laughs> <laughs> you ever, you ever, I ain't raising no neo Nazi. You, you ever hear that, that that Tracy Morgan bit that basically killed his entire comedy career? Oh, uh, he just came on stage and like his opening line was. Man, I'll tell you what, if my son was gay, I'd stab him. Okay, that's a lot <laughs> different. <laughs> then he got hit by a truck. Oh. Him or? Yeah, Tracy Morgan got hit by a truck. He almost died. It was a huge story. In a Walmart parking lot, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> that would be the worst place to die. In a Walmart. For me, anyway, because I hate Walmart. 
Yeah, but at least we're normies. If you're a famous person who died in a Walmart parking lot... Ooh. Like, I don't think I'd be able to handle that. <laughs> I, like... If I was sitting there just after getting hit by a car in a Walmart parking lot, anywhere near the vicinity of a parking lot, and the emergency medical team came over, and they're like, hold on, we have to resuscitate," I'd be like, no, just just let me die. I can't I can't live with this shame. Being Knowing that I was hit by a car in a Walmart, in the vicinity of a... If for some strange reason, the amount of physical effort it took to call an ambulance was equal to crawling to a different more acceptable parking lot i would rather die in the parking lot of a chick-fil-a we don't then because i know that's a long crawl <laughs> what is a chick-fil-a i don't know they hate gays that's all i know about them oh that's right they had that whole thing yeah just the first one we came and then i then i saw a lot that like a lot of comments like chick-fil-a is not even good Okay, I actually should have put it more to, because uh, I actually don't know what's by our Walmart here, but the Walmart back home, I'd much rather die in the parking lot of Swiss Chalet <laughs> than die in Walmart. Okay, and, and, and Twitch is append one? Append one, yeah. One P. I think. Let me, gotta, let me try, double check that trying too. Trying to get back on the rails after I completely just took this train, this crazy train. For a ride, it is one P. Okay, append one, and that is pretty much exclusively us playing Bloodborne. Yeah, I have toyed with the idea of maybe streaming myself racing in GTA, but again, that's got to be some niche viewing right yeah. there. I mean, you could try it. Yeah. I mean, I I think. That's what I might try to do, is stream more not for YouTube content. Because, okay, so when we stream, we treat it like a YouTube video. Yeah. And I think that's fine. But I think I might try to stream like a streamer, in which case I'm just playing a game. Come if you want to see it. Yeah, again, but it's going to be hard with a child. And... That's nah, fine. She can take care of the kid. Let daddy work. You ever see that interview? Like, he's on CNN, and he has, like, a maid looking after his kid. It's not his maid, it's his wife. Or was it his wife? Yes, it was his wife, and everyone's like, why is... Like, that's his fucking wife, you idiots. Not watching the kids. Not doing her, her wifely duties. That whole story, that whole non-story, where it was just like, oh, just, a, just being so awful to his... No, it's his wife. And those are his kids. I'm sorry, but if I'm working and I'm... But then again, kids are going to be kids and they're going to run in. No, exactly. Like, shit, shit happens. It's unfortunate that it was on live TV. Yeah. But shit... Shit happens. It's gonna happen to you too. That's at some point. I gotta hide all my Warhammer miniatures now. Oh yeah, she'll she'll eat she, the fuck she, out of she, those. She's she's gonna choke on one of those. That'd be a little metal though. Choking on a battle axe. It's a little metal. Got a chain sword down her throat. <laughs> Okay, and if for some reason you're only watching on iTunes, first of all, what's wrong with you? Uh, we we had well, no, we've got a bigger viewership on you iTunes. We do, but all I prefer content. them to go to YouTube where all of the content is. You can go and watch our 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 podcast in video format, in which it's just a static image. <laughs> Or you can go watch our Let's Plays, or you can watch our singular movie review. Oh, Ghost in a Shell. Yeah. It, actually, okay, that might be our best video, because it's, to the point, it's like 16 seconds long. Uh, and, and, and that YouTube, it's just look up Power Moose. I think we're almost at the top. 
well, we're the only ones. I know there's another power moves, but he well, no, there's still it. a video that comes up first. Yeah, before our channel, which sucks. But his is just him laughing at a fart joke, right? I think so. It's just like, fuck. Uh oh no! We oh we passed him. All we did. We're at the top now. We're under the guy's video moose power. Good. Uh, so yeah, uh, good on us. It's scary to see that we have 100 more videos than we do subscribers. Uh, talk us out, Duncan. What what what's the anime for the kids? Cause I what's got the anime for the kids. I, I got um, I got one cooking. I got, I got a real curveball. Um, I think everyone on the planet should just be forced Space just Andy? strap down I, you know get toothpicks in your Clock eyes clockwork orange style yeah um, just three the trifecta cowboy bebop mm -hmm. samurai shampoo shampoo samurai shampoo 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 um, <laughs> and uh, space dandy why is that the trifecta because because and I'm only asking because I've only seen one of those. Is there any unifying theme that connects those three? They're all done by kind of the same studio. Bones? Bones. Yeah, but Bones has done everything. I, uh, I don't know. They're, they, they, they're all really good. They all have a really good soundtrack. Alright. Now what I'm gonna say... I probably got everything, like, the studio wrong. No, no, I know Bones does dandy. Yeah. So, and if it's... I don't know, I'm, I'm sure it was the same creative directors and people. My curveball is I sat down... I, I'm not finished, but I sat down and watched ten episodes straight. Had a ball. Power Battle Watch Cars. That's, that's my... What? Power Battle Watch Cars. Is that an anime? Power Battle Watch Cars. It's a 3D anime. Or CG anime, I oh, guess. Oh, okay. Uh, it is uh, part Beyblade. Okay. Part Pokemon. Okay. Part Bakugan. Part Inspector Gadget. So literally, Dr. Claw and Mad Cat are the main villains. Uh huh. Whose henchmen are Team Rocket, and I'm not kidding. And then there's living... Oh, in, in Pixar's Cars, too, because the Cars have Hey, faces. you want to watch some shitty anime? Watch uh, My First Girlfriend is a Gal. Is a what? Gal. You know, one of those... Uh, it's one of those Japanese girls that kind of tan their skin and have the white makeup. And blonde hair. They're promiscuous. What? It's a thing. I don't know. <laughs> it's really bad. We're living in a post... Uh, prison school slash Euromanga Sensei, which have kind of both cornered the market on trash anime. And uh, I mean, I'm just gonna cut you off. I'm I'm not gonna let I you get, finish this. I thought you. I I originally thought you.